Hello again, this is Joe Roberts with another tutorial. This time I'm doing Red Power 2 Computers. I wanted to run a tutorial in the future about computer controlled frame ships, and I figured I'd be remiss if I just pointed you to someone else's videos, although I'm sure that there's someone who could explain at least the basic setup better than I can. So I won't bother too much with the basic setup, I'll just get into how they work. CPU, monitor, disk drive, IO expander, bundled cable coming off the back of the IO expander, insulated wire coming off of the bundled cable, red alloy wire coming off of the insulated wire, and then what you want to control, which in this case are lamps, but could just as easily be a wireless redstone or red or frame motors, basically. Fourth boot disk goes into the disk drive, click the CPU, press start, go to the monitor, and there you go. A lot of people will say, oh, install more memory, yet yeah, don't bother, none of the programs you're ever going to run are going to care about that. So anyways, there's several constructs that you're going to want to know about. Um, the first is IOX, and IOX will do, it, it turns on the IO expander, okay? IOX is IO expander. So let's say one IOX exclamation point. Look, it just turned on the white because white corresponds to one. Uh, if we go to the lamps, you see white has says 758. It does not have a number on the end. Orange does. Magenta does. Blue does. That's because white's number is zero, and it's all done in powers of two. Two to the zeroth power is one. So 1 IOX turns on white, but if we do 2 IOX, then that'll turn on orange, because orange is 1, and 2 to the 1 is 2. Say we wanted to turn on both white and orange, 1 plus 2 is 3, so we do 3 IOX, and boom, you've just turned on 1 and 2, or 0 and 1, rather. And it goes on all the way up through massive values. If you look at the lamps, it goes all the way up to 16, or 15, rather. And 2 to the 15th is a very, very large number. So don't get too crazy with it. Use a calculator or whatever. It's just, uh, it's most straightforward if, if you use the colors corresponding to the lowest numbers, because it's, it's just easier to mess around with. And so that is IOX in a nutshell. And if you want to turn it off, just do zero IOX. There's a couple of other commands like IOX reset and IOX set, but you, you don't really screw around with those. All you really need for basic design is simple IOX. It's the simple constructs that make the biggest problem. Now, let's show you how to write a basic program. Colon program. And this can be any name that you want, prog, uh, frameship, things like that. Let's just call this one frameship, because it doesn't matter, honestly. Press enter. It'll say compile. Now compile allows you to enter multiple commands. Uh, you can enter them on different lines. There's no difference between doing it in a single line or, in a, or two lines. Like uh, the difference between like one IOX, enter, 20 ticks, 2 IOX. See, you could have 20 ticks and 2 IOX on the same line or different lines. It doesn't really matter. It, it just compiles faster in one way, but then you have to do it more times. And so it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, anyways, going back though, 20 ticks. There are 20 ticks in one second, so I'm telling it to wait 20 ticks. So it waits one second and then turns on two IOX, which turns off white and turns on orange. And I want it to wait another 20 ticks, and then I want it to do zero IOX to turn all of the lights off. Press enter. Note how it takes a little while to compile. Uh, there's no real way around this. The longer your line is, the more it'll take to compile. But And colon ends the program. So enter there, and the, pro the program is now done. So frame ship and then you see it turns on white, waits a second, turns on orange, and then turns both of them off. This is straightforward enough. It's a simple little program, allows you to activate things in, in whatever order you want. Please note that on SG Techit, anything under 20 ticks is disabled. It just straight up won't happen. 
Um, also, if you were to do, say, uh, two IOX, zero IOX without 20 ticks, then it wouldn't turn on number two. It would just instantly turn on zero because this was on for zero ticks and it, nothing happens. So anyways, let's try this. Um, loop program, because this is going to be what really matters, what, what is most important. So what do we do? Eight, zero, do. Now, zero is the starting value, eight is the ending value, and do is the start of the loop code. So let's say one IOX, turn on white, 20 ticks, zero IOX, wait a second, and then loop, which is the end of the loop. That's important. However, please note that as this program is written, there is no way to stop it once it has been started. So if you accidentally coded something wrong, then you're screwed. So what do you do? Key question mark, which is a conditional. It's if there is a key, then this triggers. If, leave, then. If is the start of a conditional, leave, exits the do loop, and then is the end of the conditional. And then after that, you just type in loop, semicolon, and then you wait like five minutes for this thing to compile, because it is going to take freaking forever. And if you've done everything correctly, then you're going to have a working program. There we go. So loop program. And see, white is flashing. If we want to exit, press the enter key. And since we have that conditional, it exits in the middle of the program. Do not forget to put conditionals on your program, otherwise you're screwed if you screw something up. Oh, one last thing I should probably add to this video. Um, I didn't want to get too heavily into this because it's boring programming stuff that doesn't matter, but fourth is a stack-based language, which means that what you're doing is that when you write this program right here, then that's functionally identical to writing the entire thing out on a single line. Um, it won't actually work if you write it out in a single line, because it, it won't want to execute it all at the same time. But, uh, basically, let's say that you wrote a program called uh, Doom for fun. And you just did zero do one IOX, 20 ticks, zero IOX, 20 ticks, loop. Let it compile. Hum -de -dum -de -dum. Okay, now if you write 10 doom, then this right here is functionally identical to if you had written that 10 before the 0 in this program. This allows you to execute a loop however many times you want to execute it, and it's pretty neat. But if you do this, if you decide to do this, do not forget if, leave, then. Do not. Because if you just ran doom, then some random value would get inserted in there. And it could be any number, thousands. And if, yeah, your program would never stop, ever. And you would just have to destroy the computer to make it stop.